Hello and welcome back to the channel. Quick and interesting video for you today. For so many years, I've been using all of my cameras as video cameras and mostly as indoor in this kind of scenario cameras and you lack a little bit of flexibility there. So I've been trying to get back into doing more photography and more things outdoors. And with that in mind, Freewell reached out to me again recently. They sent out some ND filters a little while back for the Osmo Pocket. Well, right after I made the video about that, they said, we've got something new. You gotta check this out. So here in front of me today, we have the Freewell Magnetic quick swap system. Most of the time when you're working with a lens, if you want to add a filter or something to it, you've got to take the lens and the filter and you've got to line everything up perfectly and you've got to screw it all in place and hope that everything works and sticks in place. And then when you want to switch, you've got to unscrew it and you've got to move it and you've got to, it's a bit of a pain. Well, the goal of this quick swap system is that you put their threaded filter on there and then you can just magnetically clip on and off. So as you can see, the ones they've sent me here, we have a circular polarizer and we also have a neutral density ND 1.8 ND 64 decently dark filter. Let's see what comes in these boxes. Now I have noticed, it does say my name down here, and they did send me in the email, they said, have you found the surprise yet? So I haven't, hadn't opened them at the time. There's some paperwork in here, presumably. There's a little cleaning cloth. This would appear to be the magnetic filter thread. They asked me what size I needed, and I honestly, I've got lenses of all different shapes and sizes. So I said 72, because I figured I'd be able to just screw it onto whatever. And in case you're curious, these things that I'm messing around with, these are newer step-up rings, because I've, like I said, I've got lenses of different shapes and sizes. This one that I'm messing with at the moment is the Sigma 16 millimeter. It has a 67 millimeter filter thread, but I put a 67 to 72 millimeter step up ring on there. Now this one that they just sent, I can screw into place, gives you a handy dandy little red ring around the outside. And now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to clip this on. We've also got in here a little QR code, some stickers, a lifetime warranty, a filter guide, and then this little guy, we'll take the plastic off. Oh, so that's what they were wanting me to find. Zoom in, hopefully you can see that. It says 72 millimeters, but it also says my name, Jordan Keys. That's very nice. Then I can pop this guy out. Oh, and actually it looks like this is a spare magnetic thread because there's already one on here. Oh. So I popped these apart and this one on the inside was actually a UV 72 millimeter. It says free well on it. But then I was able to take the CPL filter and just clip it into place. No problem. Swap everything around again. Now I've got the CPL with the UV filter. And I can just pop it on and off. So now I've got the UV filter in place to keep the lens safe. I can just magnetically attach that and it's not gonna fall off. That's really cool. But then in the bottom of this case, there's another magnetic attachment, just a lens cap. So you don't even have to take these filters off. You can just have something on there all the time and then pop this off when you're ready. Pop the other one off if you wanna swap between. Let's get the ND one out also. Another pamphlet of documentation as well as an empty filter thread. Another little case. Oh, and this one's got my name on it as well. 72 millimeter, Jordan Keys. This one came with a UV filter as well. So both do come with the option of using the UV filter or not. But the really neat thing about this, again, I can pop off the CPL, put the ND filter right in place, and it just sits there. But you can also stack them. So if you wanted to, you could have the ND filter, and then the CPL on top of it. So you could double the filters without ever having to screw anything on beyond that initial UV filter or filter ring. And the nice thing is because each one of these comes with a UV filter and one of these, if you had a bunch of lenses, in this case with 72 millimeter filter threads, with this setup, I could have four lenses ready to go at any given time, two with UV on them, two with just regular filter threads, and then just a magnetically pop off, pop on. That's very cool. And I think without any further ado, I'm going to pop this onto a camera take it outside and show you a little bit of video using this. All right, and I'm outside. I'm using the 16 millimeter f1.4 lens, but I think I had to take it up to like f10, make that f11, and it's very bright out here. And we'll just take a little bit of a look around out here. So we're still, we're at 1 16th of a second, f11, ISO 100. So let's see what happens when we put this ND filter in place. Just pop it on, we'll take our iris all the way down. Now, you're at f1.4, it's actually kind of dark, so I can take it up to ISO 200, still keep my same shutter speed, might even have to take this up a little higher, we'll take it up to ISO 320. And now in theory, I turn this around, I have the ND64 on this lens, but I can use f1.4, although it's going to have to do a lot more work in terms of autofocus to stay on me. And then if I turn it back around, you can see I've got the CPL filter on here, I can give it a little twist. And the sky should definitely start to pop a little bit more. I'm just circling it all the way around, but that looks kind of good from where I'm standing. Kind of hard to see the screen out here. It's very bright. But then I can also just pop that back off. And now you can see the sky doesn't pop. 
put it right back in place very easily, give it a twist, and I can even pop the entire thing off, but then I have to go way back down to like F11 before I can even start to see anything again. So just to very quickly wrap this up, this is absolutely awesome. To be able to just magnetically swap in and out between filters without having to screw things on and off all day long, absolutely awesome. And the step up filter rings that I bought, I think it was $15 for a full set. It goes from like 49 millimeters up to 77, maybe it's 82. It's, it's a massive range. I'll put a link to where you can find that down below. This kit though, the Freewell filters, they're $99 a piece, which might sound a little bit high, but if you have a bunch of lenses that all have the same filter size, or you're willing to use those step up rings, Having this where you can just very quickly pop it off, pop it on, and move on to your next camera, that's absolutely a massive time saver. Cannot complain in the slightest. So thanks so much to Freewell for sending these out for me to take a look at. Thanks for personalizing them. That's awesome. Thanks to you guys for watching. Links to everything down below. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to be notified when new ones come out. It's very bright and very hot. I'm going back inside. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.